Um, but as far as what other stuff that's kind of going on in, in my life, I suppose, I got some work fun as well. So hooray. Do um, I do. Uh, this month, uh, like we've kind of mentioned on a couple of other podcasts, this month I've been working more than I'm accustomed to anyways, but more than I had been the last little while. Um, but now into September, every, all the vacations are done. Everybody's back to work. So I'm not going to be getting those like 25 to 35 hour weeks anymore. Uh, it's back down to sort of what I was averaging before, which is closer to like 12. Uh, so, so it's, it's not a lot of work, but you know, it, it is what it is. Um, also found out that we're originally, we were going to be hiring back a girl that worked there for a little while and, we found her to be very, very abrasive. Like she was, mm-hmm. she was kind of, she was, she was very overbearing. Like she wanted to be in control of everything. Okay. She yes. couldn't, she couldn't quite help the fact that she was literally lowest person on the totem pole, like even lower than me. Cause I've been there almost two years now. Um, but she was like lowest person on the totem pole, but she still wanted to be in charge of things. So she, so she came off very, very abrasive. Uh, and we were going to hire her back, I would have to assume, because our manager was like, well, we don't have to train her. It's like, yeah, but, <clears throat> but, but, but do you remember? <laughs> do you remember? Um, so originally we were going to bring her back. Turns out we're not going to be bringing her back anymore because she took another job. Uh, so that's, uh, uh, I think we have to call that a plus at this point because now everybody's back from vacations. So now we just, don't, I guess, don't have to deal with her. So that's, I guess that's a plus. Yeah, uh, we may we may be hiring on another girl because we're not sure um, about uh, one of our one of our employees has some some health concerns. We're not 100 percent sure where that's going to be going. So, that's no good. No, that's no good. So we may be hiring on another girl, but we're not 100 percent sure yet. Uh, also, I got, I got the weirdest email this afternoon. It was really strange. Uh, I got two of them, both in my junk mail, and both of them were from Tumblr. You, you're familiar with what Tumblr is, eh? Yes. That blog website. Yeah. I got two emails from them, and the stat the uh, the subject of the emails was "Where have you been?" <laughs> Tumblr misses you. I guess, like I had, but I don't remember starting a second Tumblr account. I remember starting one like way back, like way back in the day, and I haven't been on it in I would say probably five years. Like it's been it's been a long time. Okay. And now just kind of up out of the blue, they email me and it's just like, where have you been? So I open the email because it's terribly interesting. Like, why? okay, why would, why would they email me this? And on the inside, it was just like, I thought we had something special. <laughs> and I'm just like, is Tumblr getting codependent on me? Like, like, is is Tumblr's happiness predicated on me having an active account? <laughs> this, oh, my. This feels so strange and weird and awkward. So I stopped reading the email there. I'm sure it was just like, a, oh, hey, come back and, and, and something. But I'm just like, <laughs> and I... And something? Fuck no, because this feels really, really creepy. Mm. So, so Tumblr got right codependent on me, and it was, um, it was very creepy. Um, I'm tossing more content out on my YouTube page lately, which is nice. I I had kind of a slow summer. I didn't really put too much on it. Well, no, Um, nothing really was going on in summer. Well, no, it's like, there's no, there's no football. There's no hockey. Um, and those are basic. Those are my two sort of biggest sellers on the channel. Right. So I was putting up some UFC videos, um, but like not doing as many cards as I had been doing before. Uh, so I put up like some UFC videos and and a couple of other stuff, but it was you know it was it was a little bit of a slow summer, but now like uh, football season starts up tomorrow actually tomorrow's the season opener, uh, and then hockey is just around the corner starts in October I believe so so uh, I'm tossing some more content out there which is nice it feels nice to be doing videos with a good frequency again like I feel like if a week goes by without me doing a video it feels weird. Mm-hmm. Right. So now at least for the next 21 or 22 weeks, so like clear through until almost February, 
I, I have at least one video a week to do because of my football picks. But then, of course, when hockey comes back, I'll be doing some content on that and everything as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I get to toss more content on the YouTube page, which is excellent. Well, that's good. Uh, and I think the last little piece from me, um, I'm thinking about start maybe starting up a new blog. Ooh. Like, uh, not, not, not uh, video logs on YouTube, but like an actual blog blog. Uh, because I have I have all these articles that I've written for various things uh, that like we like I know Tyler Seelig and I were going to do a newsletter at one point and I wrote some articles for that uh, a newsletter and, yeah yeah he wanted we want we were going to do like kind of an anarchist uh, like kind of an anarchist newsletter kind of thing okay that we were just gonna like get a bunch like print up a self print up a bunch of copies. And like, just leave them in various places, like sort of, sort of gorillas. Like we'd go into like a restaurant or something, and mm-hmm. and leave four or five copies of it on the chair or something. Uh, you know, just kind of, just kind of gorilla style to try to try to get it around. So that was an idea that we had floating around for a little while. It didn't go anywhere, but I had written a couple of articles for it, uh, and then I had written movie articles for uh, Von Whiskey for the Eight Bit Massacre that I still have my copies for, and I just finished a new article under the same pseudonym that I was using. And, and but, I, but I don't have a place for them. Ah. Right? Like, I write them, and then they just stay on my computer. Yeah. So I was thinking about starting up a blog to kind of toss, toss that stuff on and see if, see if people like it and, uh, and everything like that. So I'm, I'm kind of bumping that idea back and forth in my brain and to see if that'll take and see if anybody would be actually be interested in reading articles that i wrote so so that's a possibility so i may be doing that in the future well people seem to like you talking so (laughs) some 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 people will preface that some people like to hear me talk (laughs) yeah so if they like to hear you talk why not like to hear you uh yeah to, or to see read, you to read type. me right, yeah, yeah. See me type exactly. <laughs> to read you see right. me type. Um, exactly. So yeah, hopefully, you know, I may, I may end up doing that. Also, little, little piece of news that came up, uh, came up a couple of weeks back. Might have even been around the end of July, and I don't think we touched on it on this podcast. So I kind of wanted to make mention of it. Uh, our province, Nova Scotia, is going to be getting ten-digit dialing. Uh, yes, we did. Uh, because we're gonna we're getting a new area code. Yeah. Uh, next, not till next year, but uh, but we're getting a new area code, which I believe is seven eight two. I think is sounds right. I think is what the new area code's gonna be. Uh, and it's it's all, but it's only going to be effective for new phone numbers, which is gonna get really really frustrating because I think of it this way. Okay, you're you have okay, you have a neighbor. Yeah. Your neighbor's been living there for I don't know, whatever, 10 years or whatever. Your best friend moves into your neighbor's house but did, didn't have a phone beforehand. So now they get a brand new number. You are still the 902 area code and the house right beside you is a different area code. Does that make any sense to you? That makes no sense and, whatsoever. And then the house on the other side of him still has 902. So you have to be keeping in your mind constantly uh, whether this phone number is is a 902 or is a 782. And I, I just, I don't know. I just don't like, I think it's going to be so annoying for people, especially older people that have been used to only having the 902 area code for their whole lives. Yeah. Now they're going to be bringing in 782. And I I realize that every other province has multiple area codes, basically. I I get that. I understand that. But it's just going to be – the way they're implementing it, it's just going to be such a bitch. It's 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 not going to be good. It's not going to be good. At least Nova still... Scotia doesn't have to make sense. No, it's fair. Fair enough. Fair enough. We don't need to make sense. We have lobsters. Um, <laughs> <laughs> see, we don't have to make sense. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> uh, that that was that was kind of the only piece of news really that's been 
overly prevalent in, in the province in the last little while, the fact that we're getting that. I think we're also going to be having an election coming up soon. I think the uh, opposition is going to be calling for another provincial election. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe I should run. Maybe you should run. I think you would get votes. I really do. I think you would make a hell of a politician. <laughs> hey, the pay is good. The, the, exactly. The pay is good. We could take all the money that you make as a politician and sink it directly into the podcast. We could have the most expensive <laughs> podcast on the internet. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the podcast would shit dollar bills. Exactly. The podcast pisses excellence. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so uh, I guess maybe we're going to be having an election coming up in the not-too-distant future. People didn't like – people don't like the NDPs, I guess. But, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're kind of all the same. Yeah. Uh, okay. What do we have here? What do we got? What do we got for time? Oh, no. You got some, like – you got a lot to cut out. Well, not really. I have, I have like, maybe a minute. So we're still at, like, 40 – we're at, we're at, at – at an easy 45. We'll put it that way. Easy, an 45? easy 45 right now. Okay. S- Craigslist. Craigslist. Now, you may be wondering how we're going to be doing Craigslist with us in two different places. Well, thanks to the miracle of technology, uh, Nick has the same articles. Oh, I, look what I did. That you wasn't even intentional. Them? I called them articles. You did. Son of a bitch. Wasn't even intentional. Uh, Nick has the same ads in front of him that I have looking at me here. So I think what we'll do is I think there's what there's four ads, aren't there for Craigslist? Um, I think there's four. I, there. I have three. You have three? Yeah. I think I have four. Well, fuck it. I, I I have I have four here. We'll do two a piece. I'll just do whichever one you don't have up. So you can fire away you can pick whichever of those four ads you want to read and we will move into the hypest segment in the history of podcasting into the hypest the hypest up into the hypest so which ad do you want to start with sir hypest of the hype hold on i'm getting there hold on 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 exactly hold on he's getting there folks so let's take a second to chat. How are you? <laughs> How are you, audience? Are you having fun? Because we're having fun. We always have fun. Fun is important. Fun is nice. Fun goes with everything, even with rice. It's not a Craigslist article. <laughs> Nick is apparently still looking, so we'll keep talking. Okay. Oh, he's got them. And we're back. And he's back. All right, then. Hey. Looking for a cool 420 male friend to keep me company. What's a 420? What? Looking for a cool 420 male friend to keep me company. Oh, uh, 420 would be the universal code for marijuana, sir. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's looking for a cool marijuana friend. She wants a cool marijuana friend. She's got some pictures up too. Ew. Some relatively unflattering ones. I want and and I want to tell you why like when I looked at this ad, I was like there's just like we have to talk about this for this specific reason. This girl could not be doing more to make her unappealing to me. <laughs> like It's true. God damn it. And it's not even that she's an ugly girl because she's not, but she's posing herself in such a way that is not flattering at all. Uh, apparently her name is Nya. <laughs> N-Y-A-H. Who the hell names their kid Nya? You really have to hate your kid to name them Nya. But Nye. like... Nya. <laughs> oh my God, it's Shanene. <laughs> <laughs> God. Um... But, like, God, it's just, like, she couldn't be doing more to make herself look unappealing. Like, she's got that friggin' Cindy Crawford, I, and I hate that piercing. Mm. You know, you, like, you, like, you can see it in her main picture there, the one yeah, that just above the lip. absolutely, yeah. I fucking hate that. I think it looks trashy as all hell. It just does not look good. Yeah, I 100% uh, agree with you there. And, like, 
her hair is different in every single picture, which leads me to believe that in her main picture, she's wearing a wig. Could be true. Because, like, her main picture, her hair is right long. Yeah. And the rest of them are not. So it really leads me to believe that she's wearing a wig. Plus, she's doing the goddamn duck face. <laughs> we'll never know. Fuck. Exactly. We'll never know. We'll never know. Anyway, sir. To the eye. Read on. This is not a scam. Hey. This is not a scam. Great way to start. Telling us. Yeah, exactly. I'm actually the real deal. Are you? Unbelievable, eh? Well, she's Nova Scotian. (laughs) She's really trying to sell the fact that she's not a scam, which leads me to believe that she's probably a scam. (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) Somebody who has to put in their thing, hey, this is not a scam. Right. It's normally a scam. (laughs) Chances are... That's a scam. Chances are. Back to it. Yeah, well, yeah, well, my name is Shinyan. <laughs> I'm a cool down-to-earth chick looking to hang out with a nice, trustworthy guy who knows how to have a good time. Not just in for the pleasure. Oh, Girls that go on Craigslist have such high expectations of the men that go on Craigslist. (laughs) So if I go and have a good time, does pleasure come later? Well, I think think she's like, the pleasure is included, but you can't be there just for the pleasure. Okay. I think is what she's trying to say. But you need the marijuana also. Yeah, exactly. So she can't can't stay in reality. She's got to... Take take the marriage you. Okay. <sighs> oh. I like to turn or sorry. I like it to turn into something casual or even long term. I'm not looking for NSA what the fuck? No strings attached. Oh, or F T W F W B Friends with Benefits. Oh. You gotta see I am I'm a teacher. Oh. I know I know oh. all this kid slang. <laughs> Okay. So <laughs> hang out, smoke a few puff puff pads and take it. <laughs> take it from there. I'm 24 years old, 5'3", 130 pounds. Yeah, right. Okay, if if you if you look at that fourth picture, that's no 130 pounds. <laughs> that's I'm no sorry. 130 now. There's no way. Open-minded and trustworthy. Okay, okay, probably. If you're looking for a cool chick to hang out with, then throw me a message. Tell me a bit about yourself. We can exchange some pics and go from there. What you think? Would it, no, 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 no. Say what it right. Think? What do you think? What do you, what what do you, you think? think? What do you think? What do you think? We, send we, me a pic and not – and I will – send me a pic or I will not reply. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It, I, I, I don't know. It's not a scam, but if you don't send me a picture, I won't reply. I think at some point we need to have Gabe come on and pro- properly pronounce uh, Woody. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Terrible. Um, yeah, this this yeah this girl sucks. Um, <laughs> like uh, yeah. she she takes uh, she's really trying to sell this whole I'm not a scam thing, and just like. Yeah, it's, it, it it becomes very, very transparent at that point. <laughs> yeah. But she's like, I'd like to turn it into something casual or even long term, but not looking for NSA or FWB. You're... It's like, but that's, they're the same thing, basically. Like a casual, what? so she just casually wants to get together and smoke weed with people. Well, she can find people like that at a bus stop. So <laughs> what does she need Craigslist for? <laughs> All right, let's go into another ad. New shooter. Um, once once again, sir, you take the lead. You you pick whichever one you'd like to read. Which... I did one. Oh yeah, no, no, I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm saying pick another one, sir. Oh, hockey fantasy. Hockey fantasy, sweet. Hockey. Weird fantasy. Lol. L O L. Lol. Looking to be hot. Hucked. Looking to be hocked. 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 Fucked. Looking to be fucked by a hot guy or guys. Ooh, wearing hockey gear. What the fuck? Only only a Canadian girl could possibly have this fantasy. 
Wow. <laughs> okay, guys. So she's 18, skinny, 5'8", and IV, and oh, and I've always liked hockey boys. <laughs> but the I've is lowercase IV without exactly. the apostrophe. Exactly. So I like I like if you were cut and size doesn't matter. Be D and D be Dungeons and Dragons for you guys. <laughs> if you've ever played Dungeons and Dragons, you ain't getting Put it. Hockey Boy at the subject line and include a pic of your dick. <laughs> if you send me a pic in your hockey gear, bonus points. Lol, smiley face. This one I actually think was written by an 18-year-old girl because it kind of sat – or or a guy that's been very well trained. Um, yeah, a, a hockey fantasy? Like I said, you, you really got to be um, – you really got to be a Canadian girl to have this fantasy. <laughs> oh, my. Like, and why does she want a picture just of your dick? That's a great question. Um it's what like, do you want a picture? Of? It's just like you could be a fat. fat hockey dude. You could just be this giant, just fucking fat, gigantic like hockey dude. But as long as you're in gear, apparently it's okay. Crazy, go nuts. Let me tell you a story. Tell you a little story about a man named Jed. Oh yeah, he found some shit in the ground and he kept his family fed. Then one day he was shooting at some food, and up through the ground come a bubbling crude oil that oil is. Oil that is. Black gold. Texas tea. All right, right on. So, you don't uh, want to drink oil, though. No, no, not good. Why do they call it Texas tea? You uh, drink tea, it's but true. you can't drink oil. I, I do not know. And All like, right, tea so. isn't really that expensive. <laughs> or, like, no, you it's can't true. buy you nothing. You can't buy shit with tea. <laughs> unless unless you're in a a, a greatly tea deprived nation then it's it's hard to buy anything with tea tea is not a form of currency no that's true all right moving on we got a couple more craigslist uh, ads here and then we'll might get into an article or two of stupid recent news uh if we've got the time so i got an uh, i got an ad up here that says i could be yours I knew you wanted to pick that one. Well, you know. See, again, I didn't I didn't know what four ads you had, so that's why I wanted to let you read two and then I read two. But I get to read the one that's got the naked pictures in it of the cute blonde white chick. Uh, <laughs> I could be yours, 19-year-old female, wink, wink, from Nova Scotia, I guess, because it doesn't really say where she's from. Hey, I'm Nicole. I'm 19, 130 pounds. See, now this girl I buy as 130 pounds. Because her pictures look like she's actually 130 pounds. <laughs> the other girl, not so much. Want me to be yours? Tell me what you want to do in detail. And I'll tell you what I want in return. Okay? She wants something in return. She wants something in return. It's either going to be the money monies, or it's going to be the 420s, or it's going to be the, the harder stuff. I'll go for any harder stuff. <laughs> Send picture, naughty ones are best, in first email. Female, male, group slash couple, all welcome, but please specify. So she'll go with anybody as long as as long as you specify in the first email that this is that this is this is what this is. So oh apparently my. as long as you narrow it down, you're fine. This chick be crazy. This chick be a little crazy, but I gotta tell you, she's kinda cute. Uh <laughs> So I think I'm going to bookmark this one and run her off an email. Uh, <laughs> and the last one for the Craigslist segment. And I, I, I only picked this one because it uh, had an extremely funny title. Uh, new month and a tight fit for your pipe. <laughs> pipe is in all capital letters. Pipe is in penis. I think, I think pipe means dick. Uh, <laughs> New month and a tight fit for your pipe. 22-year-old girl, wink, wink, from Halifax. Looking for a fun time, dot, 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 question mark? <laughs> oh, man. I'm Ron Burgundy. <laughs> Looking for a fun time? So am I. 
Right on. Reply with age, although it doesn't matter. Pick, although looks don't matter either. So why do you need to reply with those two things? This is exactly they don't matter. my question. If they don't matter, why do I? Why do I have to send them? It's like, oh, okay, looks don't matter. Well, I guess I better send her a picture. Uh, oh, age doesn't matter. I guess I better tell her I'm 37. Like, why? Like, what's what? What is necessary? Why is that necessary? Um, which, again, to me, makes this sound like a pick farmer. Like, that would only make sense. Somebody that's just looking for pictures of guys on Craigslist. Ah. Put pipe in subject line. I think I think we need to send this ad to Wesley Pipes. <laughs> just because I, I can do that. In fact, it's in my name. Uh, can you host? Mm, sounds lovely, winky face. Can we host? I think we're hosting a podcast right now. I, I think so. Admittedly a kind of wonky one this week, but what this else? This week? Yeah, kind uh, of. But it's like, it's, can uh, you host? Mm, sounds lovely. So apparently all this girl needs is to know how old we are, to get a picture, and to know that we can host. Excellent. So, and you know, she wants nothing in return? Nothing in return. Hope to hear from you soon. Capital X, small o. That's how you know so, it's hardcore legit. More hugs than kisses. I thought the I thought X was kisses. Oh yeah. Yeah. So okay. more kisses than hugs. More kisses than hugs. Ooh. That's I know, that's intense. That's the end of the Craigslist segment, everybody. Yay. Yay. We kinda got through it. We we got through it. So the time is showing me right now a uh, little bit over an hour. But uh, before we finish off, I think it's a good time to go into a couple of stupid recent news articles because we found some really, really stupid ones. People be stupid. People be very stupid. Uh, so we're taking a look here. Uh, I don't think we'll do that one. I don't think we'll do that one. The, I, I want okay. I wanted to bring this one up because this one just seems extremely fucked up. Spanish firefighters free a man's genitals from a sex toy. <laughs> this happened on the eighth of July in Ibiza, Spain. Hey, how hey, can, how I'm can going get... to Ibiza. Sorry, go ahead. How can you get your genitals stuck stuck in a sex toy? In a sex toy. Well, this was a little different. Emergency responders in Spain said they used a buzzsaw to free a man whose genitals were stuck in a steel sex toy. A steel sex toy. Was this homemade? I don't like... Are there even steel sex toys out there? I think it was a metal cock ring. Firefighters in Ibiza said it took them two rotating blades and two battery changes to saw through the metal ring around the 51-year-old German man's penis and testicles Wednesday at the Conmises Hospital. So... This guy just put on, like, a huge metal, like, almost like a like a chastity ring kind of thing. And then couldn't get it off. Oh, God. The responders, who were called when doctors determined they did not have the right tools for the job. <laughs> so, these doctors that perform life-saving heart surgeries didn't have the tools to take a cock ring off of a 51 year old man horrible <laughs> terrible horrible uh told the newspaper the delicate two-hour procedure was further complicated when the man's genitals became more swollen the longer they were stuck inside the <laughs> toy <laughs> so i guess it was working <laughs> working as intended <laughs> Oh man! Oh my God! This is so, why. Why do people do this to their junk? That is so terrible. I guess he was the guy was released the next night. I hope to a chorus of cheers from his neighbors. <laughs> you were a champion. 
And Nick, do you remember a little while back? I think we'll finish on this one. Do you remember a little while back we talked about uh, it was it was on st- uh, stupid recent news. It was a guy that got arrested for um, s- uh, leaving a woman a note in her truck that said, "If you don't come to my truck and have sex with me, I'll kill your horse." Yes, you remember this ad? I remember that. Ad. I feel like maybe this is the same guy. <laughs> this is from Hidalgo County in Texas. A man was arrested twice in three months. So two times in three months. Yeah. For having sex with a horse on private property. So I don't know if he got arrested for animal cruelty or if he got arrested for trespassing. (laughs) Because it was on private property. Probably both. Probably both. (laughs) Jesus. Double the charges. Uh, Cirillo Castillo, 43, had just been released from jail in April after being accused of having sex with the same horse named Nadia, as well as an unrelated charge of theft and marijuana possession. So, I mean, it's not like it was just a hookup. He clearly wants a relationship with this horse. Apparently so. (laughs) Maybe it has the same name of his girlfriend. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe he's just confused. (laughs) <laughs> in two, how ugly would your girlfriend have to be? Uh, in, in, tw- in 2012, Castillo was accused of having sex with two other horses. Oh, you hussy. <laughs> you tramp. God. Like, repeated sex with horses. Like, God damn. Uh, he was accused of having sex with two other horses on separate properties. So he's not, he's willing to travel to find this. Nadia's owners set up surveillance cameras in the corral and called police after seeing the footage. <laughs> Some people, I don't get them. But I love I love the response here from the police spokesman. It's so awesome. The guy is practically harmless except for the horse. <laughs> That's so stupid. Like, he's he's harmless except for the fact that he fucks this horse. Oh shit! <laughs> like it's so fucked up. It's so fucked up. You have you can't help but laugh at it. Oh, my I God. don't know. There it's... is there is currently no bestiality law in Texas, which means if you go to Texas, you can fuck all the animals you want, unless. You can prove that the animal was hurt, then you get charged with animal cruelty. So if you don't hurt the animal, apparently you can have sex with as many as you want. And this is Texas, folks. Texas, you are messed up. This is Texas. Uh, So I think I think we'll probably end it there. Uh, We are well, we're well over an hour now. We're almost an hour and a quarter, ladies and gentlemen. That's been episode number twenty-two of the No Holds Barred podcast. Uh, we apologize for the technical issues that we had had. Uh, hopefully next time we'll both be able to be in-house, whether it's here or in Liverpool. Uh, for, we don't know when the next podcast is going to be yet. Oh, for sure we will. Yeah. Keep it tuned to our uh, Facebook page to figure out when our next podcast is going to be. And uh, Nick, do you have any parting words before we leave these fine folks? Uh, let's see. Oh. Uh, uh is awesome. Uh, 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 Skype is failing us again because I can hardly hear Jeff. I'm still awesome. You should still be listening if you're not listening. Oh, if you're Skype. listening to this right now. If you're not listening, <laughs> if you're not listening, if you're not, if you're not listening, that. you're not. Yeah, exactly. If you're not listening, you're you not know, awesome. I will blow your mind, or <laughs> it will blow your mind. <laughs> so you should go back and listen. All the podcasts done back in the past exactly. because it's one cornucopia of us and two another good time bam and that's all right on skype is failing us bam. we're gonna get going ladies and gentlemen he's nick i'm justin episode number 22 no holds barred podcast we'll see you next week Bye bye